live at the CJC, where she will be back soon for a Raymond we understand, right? Yeah, Tony Cox is facing now 8 to 12 years in prison for this crime if she's convicted. She's accused of using her position of trust to line her pockets with cash. It was the Tennessee State Comptroller who discovered the money missing from Arlington High School. Prosecutors say between July 2008 and June 2010, the high school's bookkeeper was altering records and pocketing cash before it even hit the books. Tony Cox, a uh, former bookkeeper at Arlington High School, has been indicted by the Shelby County Grand Jury for theft of property over $60,000. More than $140,000 to be exact. Auditors say Cox stole money from nearly every school organization, activity, and fee for two years. That's sad for the kids. They're, they're the ones that needed the money. Shelby County Schools released this statement. This employee resigned in May 2010. Since then, the administration of Arlington High School has instituted multiple measures to safeguard the school from any such situations. Cox had access to all the school's money, and prosecutors say she did what she wanted with it. Situations like that, people that have been given trust, causes all of us concern. We went by Cox's house in Lakeland, which neighbors say has been for sale for months. She's been very sick. They had to move because they couldn't afford to keep up this house. Her neighbor didn't want to go on camera, but couldn't believe the accusations. I don't believe that they were very hardworking people. Other neighbors say they heard the rumors years ago. I hated that people get in trouble end up in jail like that. It's bad decisions. Now, her neighbor tells me that Cox has been sick for several years with some sort of illness, and the neighbor believes she's not even physically capable of doing jail time. For now, she is out of jail on a $10,000 bond. Her next court date has not yet been set. Reporting live from the CJC, Sabrina Hall, WRG News Channel 3. Thank you, Sabrina. Breaking news.